Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm using the February 2023 Inspiration Challenge from All to New to make a couple of cards. I used the free coloring image provided by All to New and I choose the carnation image which I print with a laser printer onto Express It blending card as well as a copier paper. Um, I decide to foil it, that's why I use a laser printer. I use a deco foil, this is the Wild Cherry deco foil. I cut it with my quick trimmer from Spellbinders. It's easy to cut it with that because the foil is so thin, it just makes it easier and I can cut exactly the size that I need without any wastage. After cutting the foil to what I need, to the size that I need it, I put it into what I call a carrier sheet. A carrier sheet is really just a thin copy of paper. So that's just the mode of putting it into the laminator so that the toner of the laser printer will allow, will heat up and allow the deck of foil to stick onto it. So while I'm doing all of this, I'm heating up my laminator so it's ready to take the carrier sheet in and put it in twice. I return my foil into the plastic tube that it comes to so it's safe and then I put it into the laminator twice. Now I've got a very old laminator so I, I put it through it twice just to be safe. Now it doesn't go through that fast. I've sped this up so you don't want to see it go through very slowly. Now once it's out you can see the image on the foil and that tells you how much of it has transferred onto the card because that gives you an indication of how well it's transferred. After doing that, I used the copier paper bit. I fussy cut it and I sprayed with repositionable adhesive. I used the pixie spray because I want to use it as a mask so that I can get the background done. Now I've just got an airbrush machine. It's called the airbrush compressor and it's electric. You use electric for that. And I used to use the little cans and they don't last very long. The D60 cans, I think they are. So I've got this and I decide to give it quite um, a neutral background. So lots of blacks and greys because in accordance to the inspiration challenge, it's just a little bit of black and I want the, the, the pinks and the purples to pop out. So that's what I do. So I use various greys here various shades of greys for the background and the flowers are not impacted because they're protected by the mask clearly. So I do this for two cards, both cards. One I give it a neutral background which is blacks and greys and the other one I make the background the inspiration challenge which is the pinks and purples and I color the flowers white, white carnations. So I, I do two versions of it because I, let me know which one you like. But I absolutely adore the uh, pink foil, deco foil on the image that I printed on laser printer. I think I love the way that these cards turned out. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. Do head over to my blog, there's a lot more information there on products to use as well as step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how I created the card. And the link to my blog is in the description below. Now when choosing the Copic colors to color my flowers, I use my Copic swatch. I love this Copic swatch that I made and I'll link to the video on which I made these Copic swatches in the description below because they come in so handy rather than constantly testing the colors. I know which colors will go together. I'm going to leave you with some music. Thank you so much for stopping by and do stay on to the end of the video and let me know what you think of the cards that I've created. Cheers. <music> 